What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm gonna see if I can refurb some wheels. I actually wanted to do the wheels on the TIG one, but I thought I would start out with these. Since they are in pretty bad condition, you can see it looks like the clear coat is failing on them. So I'm gonna take them off and then refurb them first. And only if I manage to come right with them and I'm happy with the result, then I'll take the wheels off on the TIG one. I just want to do a small color change on mine, so nothing major there. But on my girlfriend's car, the wheels is looking quite bad. So like I say, if I can see that I am happy with the results on her car, I'll definitely do the TIG ones afterwards. So for now, I'm gonna take the wheels off. Outside the garage, I'm gonna take the wheels off. I'm gonna clean them. And then after that, I will bring the car inside the garage and then I'm gonna take the wheels off and start the refurb. I'm just going to do all the washing and stuff outside before I bring the car in because I want to clean the brakes while the wheels are off as well. So this is pretty much the condition of them. I'll show you guys once I got all four pulled off what they look like side by side. So as you guys can see I got all four wheels off. Next up I'm going to use this blue tape and a marker just to mark each wheel. Left front, left rear, right front, right rear. So when I put them back they all go back in the same spot where they came off. I noticed while washing that the driver's side rear tire has a pretty pretty bad nail in it. It's pretty flat so you couldn't couldn't hear it or anything. So I'll need to pull this out, see if it's leaking air, and then probably get it fixed. So there's all four wheels next to each other. Now I can show you guys how bad the condition really is. As you can see they are looking terrible right now. I'm hoping to... They are supposed to have a shine, like a diamond finish. But obviously that is worn off as you can see I'm hoping to get a decent finish from sanding and spraying them good morning guys welcome to day two of the wheel refurb today I'm actually going to start by sanding the wheels off I'm going to go with a coarse grit on the faces of the wheels just to get all this stuff off I don't know diamond cut or whatever it's called to get all of this off and then in here I'm going to go with a very light grit since there's nothing really wrong with it so just to get a a clean and smooth surface for the spray to take. At the back, I'm going to be cleaning all this old wheel weight glue off, and then I'm not going to remove the new wheel weights 
simply because I don't want to balance the wheels again. So I'll just spray over it. No one's going to see it anyway on this car. So yeah, that's the, the plan of attack. I'm going to start off by sanding it now with the course grit and then work my way finer as the day goes on. As you can see, the center caps need some attention as well. So I'm going to sand them off and see if I can actually find a fourth batch or something to put in there. I will spray them the same color as the wheels, but then just see if I can get a fourth batch to finish them off quite nicely. sanding paper, very coarse sanding paper to get all the surface stuff off, to get all the stuff off the surface and then after that I'll be moving over to 220 grit just to smooth it down nicely and then I'll finish it off with either 1000 or 1200 just to make sure the surface is entirely smooth so I can lay down the spray. Currently day 3 of the DIY will refurb, the rain is eventually stopped. As you can see it's still overcast but the rain is away so that means I can finally start spraying the wheels today because there will be enough heat for them to dry. I was scared in the rain that the wheels wouldn't be able to dry. Anyways if you guys notice a difference in quality or sound, I recently not recently, yesterday I purchased myself a GoPro Euro 7 Black. So I'll be using this with a camera, with my phone still to record footage. Hopefully I'll be able to get more angles now. I don't have any, I don't have any uh, fittings for it yet, like a head strap or a chest strap that I can use to show you guys what I see when I film. But all of those will come in good time. So now I'm gonna start laying the wheels out here. I can close the garage doors, then I can start spraying. Uh, so there's no overspray on the vehicle when I spray the wheels. And then I'm gonna start with the barrels and work my way to the front. I just cleaned the wheels with some copper eraser 
basically all that does is it cleans off all the oils from the surface so that when I paint it that the paint will stick a bit better and then next up I'm gonna be using this it's a trick I learned on on the internet I'm gonna be sticking the cords in between the rim and the tire all around to make sure that I don't spray the tire because like I said earlier I'm not gonna pull these off and have the weights put back on again so I'm quickly gonna go around doing all four wheels put the cords in between I got four packs I'm not sure how many I need but I got four just in case so I'm quickly gonna do that and then I'll catch you guys once that's done I'm finally done with this next up I'm gonna start spraying I'm gonna start with a light coat just to form a base for the paint so the first coat is gonna be an extremely light coat and then from there on I'll start spraying thicker I've got some metallic metallic silver spray and I've got a clear coat that I'm gonna use afterwards That's the first cut done. I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes, maybe 40, 50 minutes in this weather, just for it to dry nicely before I start with the second coat. I've given the wheels appropriate time to dry. It is dry to the touch now, so I'm gonna get on to the second coat. done two coats on the barrels I've decided that I'm gonna do two on the barrels and three on the face next up I'm gonna put a coat of clear lacquer just to protect the finish so I'm gonna put a coat of clear lacquer now then I'll turn the wheels upside down and start spraying the faces Finally got the wheels finished up, they look, look absolutely amazing, I'm so 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 happy with this colour, it's got a nice matte finish to it, the centre caps, I'm, like I mentioned earlier, I look for Ford badges that fits in there, but I'm so happy with this, it looks amazing, I fit the two of them already for you guys to see. looks a lot better than it did before I'm quickly gonna finish up fit the other two wheels so I can put the car back on the ground so this is it guys wheel reefer for under 500 rand it was extremely cheap it was extremely easy to do Yes, it did take me a long time to do because it was raining so I couldn't do everything at once and because it was Christmas the shops was closed when I had to buy the playing cards to, to prevent from spraying the tires so yes it was easy it took me a while but 
I would say you could get it done within two days, not three like I did. You could get it done within three days and the results are fantastic for a spread home. Yes, there are some imperfections which I did not want to get out, like some curb rash. I just simply decided that that's going to be too long for me to, or going to take too long for me to take out, so I completely gave that a skip. Um, but all in all, I'm extremely happy with this. I will be driving the car for a couple of weeks to monitor how it holds up and I'll let you guys know but I suspect it will be fine since there's three coats of paint on the faces and two, paint, two coats on the barrel and then I've got one coat clear coat on the back and two coats of clear coat in the front so I'm pretty sure that's, that's going to be sufficient protection. That's going to be it for this video guys, thank you very much for watching the first video of 2019. I can't wait to show you guys what I've got in store for 2019. It's going to be an extremely, extremely exciting year for me. In the next video, I'm most probably going to be working on the T1 again. I've got one or two small things that I want to do on the car. I've been wanting to do it since I bought the car, but it's officially time to, to get to those mods now and do it. So I'm going to take you guys with, obviously. So stay tuned for that. If you guys want to see some content on the TIG one again, I still need to move the gearbox on the photo, see what's the problem, if it's the diaphragm or if it's the slave cylinder. I honestly suspect it is the diaphragm, but I'll get to that when I have some time. That's going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and reflect your passion.